first time in more than 100 years, Batavia has a brewery. Yeah, Daybreak Stephanie Barnes is taking us to this newest spot along the city's main street. Here's more on Eli Fish Brewing Company and this week's Unique Eats. Batavia has been without a brewery since the early 1900s. You could say it's been a bit of an untapped market in Genesee County. Uh, closest breweries are, are Buffalo and Rochester. There's one in Perry, uh, New York, which is um, probably a half hour away. But in the past week, Matt Gray and his two business partners ended the drought, opening Eli Fish Brewing Company, drawing on the name of a brewery that shut down in this town more than a century ago. We had three breweries in Batavia. Uh, one of them was Eli Fish. Uh, and then when Prohibition came, uh, all three of those businesses uh, transferred into other, other lines of work. Gray says they started drafting the plans to bring back a brewery about four years ago. They bought the spot in 2015 and after a couple years of renovation, turned it into this. First draft IPA. Eli Fish features 20 rotating beers on tap, either their own or somewhere else local. They also have liquor and wine from around New York State. But in this 10,000 square foot space, you better believe they offer more than just something to drink. They've got food, too. So what we ended up with a very eclectic mix of, uh, of menu items. Uh, everything from, as you can see, a pork shank to a brisket covered uh, banana pepper pierogi. Plus there will be two more restaurants in here later this spring as part of the Fresh Lab restaurant incubator with the city of Batavia, supporting restaurant entrepreneurs with space for their concepts to take flight. Eli Fish also has a place to play with a bocce ball court that doubles as indoor cornhole. Our downtown has gone through what we've seen in Buffalo too, where uh, it was a great downtown. It had decades of decay and loss. And now we're going through a similar renaissance on a smaller scale that Buffalo has seen. Uh, so we really wanted to be the next piece of the puzzle. And, uh, and we think it's working. For this week's Unique Eats and Drinks, I'm Stephanie Barnes, Channel 2 News.